Hi friends, this is Ramna. Today I will show a demo on how to add new column in source document and load it, load the data into the SQL tables in SSIS. So first I want to show the data. The data I have. This is my data source document, which is in CSV format. It contains around 350 records. The data here I have four columns. First id first name last name and email so uh, i want to load this into the trend database table in person underscore person name underscore table i have four columns additionally i have one more column that is nothing but full name so i want to load the data from csv file where i have just four columns so i want to add the one more column and load it into the database table for that i will show demo how to do it so this is new package i am selecting new package and dragging the data flow task into it and after that I am selecting the database data flow here my flat file source I am taking the flat file source because my source document is the csv format new browse to get the file select csv files data columns and everything is same see here four columns of data is loaded, is loaded. I want to to, to create one more column in the database is we have one transformation here in toolbox that is nothing but derived column. You have to take the derived column. Derived column is creating the new column mm -hmm. source document. To get the new column, you have to write expressions based on the column that, I, that is there in the source column. Double click. So columns I have is first name and last name. Now I want to create new column as full name. First name. Drag it to the first name. Concatenate with the two plus signs and two double quotes with gap and last name drag the last name after at end so this is my full name and I am ok with it now my destination is here OLDB destination OLDB destination to configure new my server name is admin and my database name is sample my table name is here person name underscore tbl mappings you check if you want to check any and data type difference it is better to check by, by seeing at the time of mapping in destination see here here we data, data type is st st dt str and here it is dt uh, 14 and here first name first underscore name and last underscore name in first underscore name dt str in destination also it is dt str so in last underscore name dt str destination table also showing the same data type in full name w str and in full name it is dt str so we need to change the data types for of, of input columns to input columns id and full name for that that's why it is throwing error for that we need to take one more transformation that is derived column data conversion data conversion and drag the derived column we need, need not change the data types for all id id and full name only. from full name i need to change data and dtstr id i am selecting here is 4 bytes and integer now you connect the validity destination validity destination here check the mapping id we already created i am taking the new id copy id here also copy so rest of the mappings are done no need to change the manual map so this is how you need to configure it is throwing still showing some error uh, truncation may occur due to inserting data flow column from the length some length is happened no, no need to worry about that error this is not error this just warning message so everything then copy and save the file save the package now i am going to restart the package and make sure again once again the data there is no data in the file yes it is run successfully and all 349 records are loaded into the destination table stop the package and check the query see all 349 are loaded here so this is how you need to create a you need to create a new column with the derived column and change the data types by using the data conversion and load it to the OLDB list thanks for watching the video thank you very much